what time it is for me. Absolutely, it is time for my Diet Coke break. Today I'm drinking out of another Wizard of Oz glass. As you all guys all know, this is my favorite movie. Today I have the pleasure of drinking from the Wicked Witch, the Wicked Witch's glass. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for um, stopping by my channel and hopefully watching this whole video. I'm going to try not to make it too long. Today's video is going to be November favorites and I have quite a few things but I'm really going to try to just kind of fly through them so that um, you're not sitting there uh, forever and wondering why I am still rambling on um, over a minute into this video and I have not shown you a single product. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and get started. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be November favorites. And um, the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is actually empty and I'm gonna do an empties video after this as well, another empties video, but I wanted to go ahead and show this because it was a favorite of mine. I actually used this entire thing during the month of November. And this is from C. Booth and it is the Milk Bath and Shower Cleanser and it is, the bottle looks like this, and um, I really, really like this. Um, it is very, very moisturizing. It leaves your skin so soft, and it smells like, it doesn't smell like milk. Anytime I see anything that says um, that it smells like milk, I'm always, I don't know, I'm always thinking it's going to have a soured smell. I don't know why, I guess because it's not refrigerated. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense at all, but that is just my logic. This does not smell like spoiled milk, just, you know, for your information. Um smells really, really, it's kind of like vanilla and honey a little bit. Um, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know why it's called milk. Maybe it's because it's the color. I don't think that's right either. You guys are going to think I'm a complete idiot and I promise most of the time I'm not. There, You know, I have moments, but most of the time I'm I'm pretty okay. Um, but anyway, this is from C. Booth. Um, I know that you can get this at Ulta. Um, and I absolutely love it. It was really, really creamy, really, really moisturizing. It had a really nice, just pleasant smell. It was very relaxing. The second thing that I really enjoyed this month, again, was um, my L'Oreal Paris, the Magic Nude Liquid Powder um, Foundation. I know you guys have all seen this. Most of you, or a lot of you, I'm sure, have this and, and use it or you've tried it. Um, I am in the color 318 on the top. Sadly, though, I cannot remember what the name of it actually is because, you know, as you can see, it's got, you know, makeup covered. I have no idea what it is. I think, I'm, I'm thinking that it's probably, my guess is it's probably creamy natural or, uh, natural. Normally that's the shade that I kind of gravitate towards, but um, I really like this foundation. I've really liked it for a long time. Um, I've had this for a long time at last. Um, forever. It's like all of my things that I'm trying to use up and trying to kind of get gone. It's like they do not run out. They just keep on going. And this is exactly the same thing. But um, anyway, it's very, very liquidy. When you pour it out, you have to be careful or it will go everywhere. But um, I really like this. I like to use my fingers to apply this more than a brush, actually, or even a beauty blender. Um, I just find that my fingers do a better job of just getting it where it needs to go. Um, and it does really feel really, really soft, kind of a light powder finish. And I think that it looks really nice on the skin, too too. So that's my, um, that's a favorite of mine this month. Next thing that I've really been enjoying this month, and I've worn this several days, is from NYX, and it is the Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder, and that is what this looks like here. Um, I really like this. It's a NYX, you know, powder. It's not very expensive. Um, I think I got this from Ulta, and, um, it's just kind of a, now it's not one of those, like, the white, you know, the white powder. It's not that. This does actually have um, a little bit of a color to it. Or this one is light medium. I'm sorry. Um, so this is just the light medium, but really um, it doesn't add a whole lot of color to your face. It just kind of sets your foundation and um, just gives you, you know, kind of a light coverage if you need it, you know, here and there. But um, it's a really nice powder. I like it. I think it, um, and it does really, you know, kind of keep my makeup matte for most of the day. This is a really good setting powder and I've really been enjoying this. Um, another powder, but this is, this is a actually a powder foundation, but I've been using it more as a setting powder. Um, it is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. And mine is the color Fair Light Neutral. And it is for fair to light skin with yellow and pink undertones. That's what the front of it looks like here. So anyway, you open it up and it has a little sifter um, down here in the bottom. The makeup's in the bottom. And um, I use, I do have a Tarte um, 
bamboo makeup brush that I use with this and you what you do is you just kind of push it down in here and when you pull it back the powder is on the brush so it's not messy it's very very neat very compact and it works really well um now during the summer when I had a little bit more color to my face like natural sunlight color um I did use this just strictly as foundation several times and honestly a bunch of times I couldn't even really well I could tell because I I could tell obviously because I had put it on but um, a lot. Uh, if you if you did not know that I had on a powder foundation, I really don't think that you would have been able to tell. I mean, it just when I looked in the mirror, it looked just like I was wearing a liquid foundation. But um, during the winter, um, during these cooler months when I haven't been out in the sun in a really long time and I don't use any kind of fake tanners or anything, um, I have just been using this over even over this L'Oreal, and I'll just take a little bit of this and just kind of set where I need to, and it makes a really nice finish, and I really like it. It's not too cakey, so you can use it for either one. So anything that's multi purpose especially when it's a pricier thing like this is always good but um this is really great I love it and I've really enjoyed it this month um the next thing I have is actually something that I just got in my November Ipsy bag um it is the Mark Anthony oil of Morocco argan oil sulfate free volume shine hairspray infused with keratin looks like this. I know some of you got this in your Ipsy bag also. Now, I know that I didn't get my Ipsy bag at the beginning of November, but I feel like I got it close enough to close enough to the middle of the month at least that I can still count it as a monthly favorite. Um, I actually really like this. I've been looking for another hairspray because as you guys know, if you saw my video where my my other hairspray that's my favorite kind of clogged up and locked up my big sexy hair, that one, and I still can't get it to work. I still have not thrown that away. I still have it. I am still not giving up on that hairspray, but I have really enjoyed this. Um, this is a very, like, I'm, you know, I've used it today. Anytime I've curled my hair, it's a very, you know, it's, it's, it's a very flexible hold, yet it keeps, you know, my hair in place where it needs to be. It smells nice, so as soon as this is up, I think I will definitely purchase a full size of this. Um, another thing that I have really been liking is this, um, mascara. It's from Model Co. and it is the Power Lash Black Mascara. I don't know if you guys can see this here or not, but, um, this is just a sample. I got this, I think, I am thinking, and if I'm wrong, somebody correct me, and if I am wrong, I apologize, but I am pretty sure this came in a, in a boxy charm. I don't know why that's what I'm thinking, but I think that that is where I got this. I really, really have been enjoying this mascara from Model Co. Um, and it's the, again, it's the Power Lash, just the black mascara. It's not waterproof or anything, but I mean, I, I don't like waterproof mascara anyway, so that's fine. But um, this is the brush here. I don't know if it's going to focus in on this or not, but um, this is the brush. I really like it. It is super, super volumizing. Um, it adds a lot of product to your lashes without clumping with me anyway um i know everybody's lashes are different and some people you know may have tried this and they absolutely hate it but i've really really enjoyed this sample and um if i didn't have so many mascaras that i've got to use up and go through i would absolutely buy a full size of this but um anyway i'm gonna keep enjoying it i don't think there's much left in here though because i've been using it quite a bit this month so this is a really great mascara if you guys want to try that out the last actual makeup product that I have to show you guys is um, the Smith's Rosebud Salve. I know, I think I've showed this before. I love this stuff in the tin. You know, it looks like this and just smells so good. And it is so moisturizing on your lips. And I even use it on my cuticles sometimes when they get kind of dry. Because it says you can use it all over, you know, like wherever you have dry, you know, little spots or whatever but um mostly I use it on my lips um I love this and I had mentioned that I really did not like having to stick my finger down in here all the time and get it out but I love it so much that you know I I'll keep I was gonna keep doing it and I'm still gonna keep doing it I'm not gonna throw this away um I'm still gonna use it up but my Instagram friend Beauty Empties I have mentioned her before and I'm gonna link her below you guys check her out but she posted, I think a Sephora haul a couple months ago. I think it was a couple of months ago. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but Erica, I think that's right anyway. Um, but she posted, she had a tube of the same thing. And I was like, no way there is a tube of this. So anyway, um, thanks to her, I went ahead and I ordered this um, online and um, is the same thing but it's in tube. I'm so excited. I, it's like this. So now it's like very, very, very easy to apply. I don't have to stick my finger down into this thing anymore, but 
I keep one in my purse and I keep one. This one I've generally been keeping on the nightstand because I'll use it. I'll put my finger in for this and then, you know, I can wipe it off, you know, on the little towel I have on my nightstand. I don't have to worry about, you know, wiping it on my pants or something like that. But this one I'm keeping in my purse in the car, you know, so that I'll have it for that. So thank you, Erica for enlightening me that there was a tube of this because it has made everything so much easier and I'm so thankful for that. So thank you very much. But anyway, this is great. You guys can pick this up. Check this out because it is a really, really good lip balm. One of my favorite perfumes to wear this time of year when the seasons change and it's a little bit cooler. I kind of switched from the fruity, you know, sort of real floral scents to scents that are a little bit warmer and spicier and, um, you know, just more, I don't know, fall, winter appropriate, I guess. So one of my absolute favorite perfumes for this time of year is Burberry Brit. I love this stuff. It smells so good. I don't know how it's actually described as smelling. I don't know what the scent is supposed to be described as, but it's really, really just kind of a warm, comforting. It's like a little bit of spice, like a little bit masculine almost, but it's just, it just smells so good without being overpowering. It's just kind of a real, you know, kind of just a comforting scent. So this has been my favorite perfume for the past month. I've worn this more than anything else. So this is a really great perfume. Then I have two things that I've been enjoying as far as um, facial cleansers. One thing is from Bear Box and there it is, B-A-R-E box. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this. I did a review video on my first um, box that I got from them. They, It's just a subscription service for all natural products. Um, you get a coffee scrub, which is absolutely sensational. I love that stuff. You get um, skin detoxifying tea, um, tea bags. This tea is really good. And they have like um, an actual cleanser for in the shower. But this month they... Um, have given us something new in the box and this is actually moisturizer so we didn't have I didn't have this in the first box so it's in this box this stuff I swear it smells just like a f tropical fruit smoothie it's like I th see I think mashed bananas like I think baby food mashed bananas smell good as weird as that is I think that tropical mashed banana smell I just I love that and Honestly, that's exactly what this smells like. It's not, not like baby food. I don't think baby food wants to smell, but it just, it smells like very tropical, a very distinct kind of um, banana type smell, but it just, it smells so good. And it's like, after I get out of the shower, I will take this and it doesn't take very much. And I've been using this, you know, like I said, since I got the box in the mail and I've used this almost every day when I get out of the shower and, and you know, you just, I put some on, I put it all over and it feels so good when you put it on. It's so moisturizing. It smells great. It, you know, absorbs into your skin very well. And I just love it. I really, really do. So if you guys are interested in checking out Bear Box and the subscription service, I will link their um, Instagram and the website below. And there's a special code that they gave me to give my YouTube viewers. So if you guys want to check that out, I will also list that and you can get your first box for half price, which is great. So anyway, I've really been loving this. I ran out of my Body Shop Chamomile um, Cleansing Balm Butter stuff, you know, to get your makeup off. And anyway, I have not repurchased that, even though I should have, because everything was half price yesterday for Cyber Monday. And I actually think I got something this morning saying the same thing, so I actually should probably check that out. But I, um, I needed to order a couple things from Lush. Uh, I don't know. A little more than a month ago, I ordered the purple shampoo um, that I use from them for um, for my hair. And um, I got a little sample, well not a sample, I ordered the small size bottle of this 9 to 5 cleansing lotion that they have. Because I was kind of intrigued about it. Um, anyway, it smells really good. It says it's a beautifully light orchid and almond oil lotion to cleanse and freshen the complexion. Simple, elegant, and easy to use. So um, the concept with this is exactly the same as like with the cleansing balm or I guess other cleansing lotions. Um, it's got the little um, top here like this and you just, you know, put it in your hands. You don't have to wash your face first or anything. You just go ahead and put it on and um, kind of just like with the cleansing balm that I was using, you know, you can see the makeup breaking down on your face. You take a wash rag, wipe it off, and you'll just be surprised at everything that comes off. But um, this smells good. It has kind of like a light... 
To me, it's kind of like a light lavender scent. I, I may be totally off base with that, but that's kind of the scent that I get from it. But um, anyway, I, I'm enjoying this. I am not even halfway finished with this, though, because it doesn't really take very much. But anyway, um, I'm glad that I'm trying this out. And when this is gone, you know, I don't know. I may, I might purchase this again in the future. I don't have any problems with it or anything. Um, so this is just another alternative to something that you might want to try to use if you are using cleansing balms and things like that. If you prefer like the balm or a lotion over the oils and everything, which I do because I just find that they're messy. So um, this might be something good for you to try. So again, this is the 9 to 5 Cleansing Lotion from Lush. So I highly recommend this. And the very last thing that I have this month as favorites um, is um, the Shiseido Facial Cottons from Sephora. And um, I know, I think I actually posted that I thought these were overrated. I thought that they were very expensive. But I actually, after I made that comment, I actually started using them. I was like, but I have all of these and I'm going to use them up. So I'm going to go ahead and do something with them. Normally, I use um, just like, these are the Target Up and Up, just the round cotton rounds um, with my toner. These work just fine for that. But I kind of found that, especially if I wore like a heavier eye makeup, I found that I had to kind of rub too hard with these to get, you know, all the like remaining remnant makeup remover. I felt that the, and these kind of, it's like my eyes would kind of burn because I would have to use, you know, a couple of them to get, you know, everything off. So anyway, then I decided to start using these, which I had kind of put to the back of the drawer, but I started to use these just for my eye makeup. So after I use my those other cotton rounds um, with my toner, I take my eye makeup remover and to get anything that's, you know, left after I wash my face. And I've been using these and that's what they, I mean, they're just, you know, a cotton square. They are thicker. And I will say they are, you know, they're super, super soft. I just didn't like them for all over my face. But for my eyes, these have actually worked wonders and I'm so glad that I thought to pull them out of the back of the drawer because they don't burn my eyes. Even if I have to go over my eye five or six times to get every little remaining bit, they, I don't feel like it pulls at the skin. It doesn't, um, it doesn't burn. It doesn't irritate. It's just, it's very, they're very, very soft, very, very gentle. So, um, if you need something to, you know, strictly use for taking off your eye makeup, I would highly actually recommend these. And again, I got those from Sephora. And the very last thing I have is actually a food product that I got in my, in, um, in a birch box. And I just got around to eating them this month. So I guess this is kind of not a November favorite because I didn't have I didn't have it to eat for the whole month of November but I thought about eating it the whole month of November because um I couldn't order because the Birchbox website it was out of these and I don't know if they're back in stock now but I really need to check but these are the dang I guess it's just dang because you know I guess they're dang good I don't know <laughs> but anyway these are the toasted coconut chips the original recipe and that is what the little bag looks like anyway when I tried these, they were so good. They are just like little strips. And I swear to goodness, they just, it's like they just melt in your mouth. And they're so moist and crispy and crunchy at the same time. I don't know how they do that. I don't know how they get it to be, that's why it's called dang. It's, oh, it does say that on the back. It says, dang, that's good <laughs> right there. And they really, really are. Um, but I've been to the Birchbox um, site a couple times to try to order some and use some of my points to order some of these, but um, they've been out of stock. So didn't eat these the whole month of November, but definitely thought about eating these the whole month of November. And this is a serving and it has 115 calories. So, um, you know, it's not super, super horrible for you. So guys that is um a wrap on my november 2014 favorites and i hope that you enjoyed all of this and i'm sorry that this has gone on much much longer than i wanted it to so um hopefully when i trim it all down it's not gonna be you know a 20 minute video because that's just too long and uh i don't want to do that to you guys so Thank you again. If you watched till the end of the video, I appreciate you more than you know. And um, please check out all the links below for things about the products and, you know, some of the people that I talked about and things like that. And um, if you have comments, questions, or suggestions, just let me know what they are. I am open to anything that you guys would like to suggest that I do. Um, I do have some 
haul videos that I want to do. Um, I have my Sephora um, VIB things that I still haven't showed you guys. And I am waiting to um, get my Black Friday sale um, items, which hopefully UPS is going to bring those today. And then I'm going to do it all together in one video. So as soon as I get that, I will get that up for you guys. I ordered some stuff from Ulta also that I'm waiting on. So I'll show all that to you when it gets here all at the same time. Um, but I have some empties videos and I have a few review videos for a couple products that I was actually sent to try out. So I'm going to be getting to those really, really soon. And, um, I just appreciate you guys watching. So I hope you all have a really, really great afternoon, evening, um, morning, if you're on the other side of the world. And, um, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.